Let's talk about spring cleaning for a moment. And no, I'm not talking about cleaning your house in the spring. I'm talking about cleaning my key switch springs. So when you first print the spring, it can be kind of a mess like this because with Ninja Flex, you can't really have much retraction. Um, so it leaves these strings. You see that? These little bits coming off. And those can really mess with your switch. So you want to get rid of those. Now there's two sides. This is the side with the bigger hole that goes under the, the key cap. And then there's the side that goes on the stem. This side needs nice crisp edges. So be careful with this one and make sure that they're nice crisp. Even, even if you have to cut a little bit in, in this direction and this direction, that's not going to affect your spring much. But if you have to cut the sides off here, that's going to um, mess with the strength of the spring. And also, if your spring is a little too strong, another trick you can do is to cut it at an angle like this. Give yourself a little 45 degree corners. You see that? And that reduces the strength of the spring just a smidge. Another thing you can do is if you turn it inside out, you know, like you're going to use it as a spring. Put this down here. Make it a little easier on myself. Ugh. My fingers, I've got sausage fingers. So once you've got it inside out, a lot of these strings will, will stick out easier and be much easier to trim. You see that? And you can also trim the sidewalls here, these little things that stick out the sides. And if you just cut off like a half millimeter or a millimeter of that, that will also reduce the strength of the spring. Um, so this is what you're going for after you've got it nice and clean. So note that this larger section that goes under the stem, you don't really have to clean that one off that, that well. If there's a little bit of stringing like that, that's not going to matter because it's just going to sit under the stem and it's not going to affect anything. But if you have strings on this side where the stem is, uh, it can, they can get caught, right? And we don't want that. And the place they'll get caught is on either side here. They won't really get caught on the top and bottom. They'll get caught in the sides. So even if you have to cut at like, you know, like a little 45 degree angle here in the sides, that's not going to affect the strength of the spring very much. It's really up here and down here that control the strength. So that's how you clean off the spring before um, putting in your switch. And it, if anyone figures out a good way to print NinjaFlex without having all these little strings that go off the sides, that'd be great. It's interesting that it bridges great. You know, it seems to bridge just fine. But when it pulls away and does the next spring, it tends to leave these little blobs sticking out like that. And those need to be cleaned off or they can interfere with your switch. Anyway, so that's, that's how you clean it up.